What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I'm back with another reaction, this week's episode of Vinland Saga, okay, episode 5 is here today, and we already know the tragic story of Thor's, um, I don't, you know what, it's not tragic, it's great, it's great, um, one of the most meaningful deaths I've seen in anime in a long time, um, you know, his death was so, and it, and it was such a cool death, you know what I'm saying? If you can put, put that word to describe it, it, it was a cool death, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's so good that, you know what I'm saying? He didn't die looking pitiful, you know, crawling for his son or anything like that. He was just mm, like a man. <laughs> I'm saying so it was it was really cool to see man but it was very tragic in terms of Thorfinn losing his father um and man he's got those revenge eyes doesn't he um so gonna see what's going to be the aftermath of it all um as I said from the opening I was spoiled because I was like um I felt like Thor was gonna die at some point um, I didn't expect it to be that be that early, but when I from you know from how the story was going, I was wondering if that's where he was going to die. But then when I saw how he was doing in the fight, I was like, well, nobody can really beat this dude. So how is he going to die? Essentially, what he did was sacrifice himself to save the rest of the crew, including his son. So. Um, I don't know what's going to be the aftermath of it, but we're going to check it out right now. Episode 5, um, also they expect Thorfinn to die because he basically didn't go home like the rest of the crew. He stowed away on the, on the ship and now they see him and they're like, oh, he's going to die. I think um, I also saw that he ended up on a ship with the dude, right? So with, with Askeladd, right? So, um, in, in the opening, you see him on a ship with Askeladd. So I'm wondering if he's going to join the crew, if he's, if he's going to be like that character, um, like, you, you know, kind of like the, 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 the Sasuke kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're with your enemy to learn how to fight and blah, blah, blah. And then when you get a chance, you're going to kill him <laughs> i don't know but we are going to see so let's go jump into this episode man i'm stoked to see what's really going to take place now once the wife and the daughter hears about thor's death what what we expect and how is this going to be reported to loki to floki and we'll get to see all of that so let's go jump into this episode you know what to do go watch the episode come right back here for the review check out the review Leave a comment, leave a like on the video. We'll be right back here for the review. All right. Okay, so, you know, um, they tackled a couple of things there in that episode that I liked, you know, with, um, Especially with, um, oh my god, I can never remember her damn name. The daughter. Jesus, it's Helga and Yilva, <laughs> I think. Um, her, her name is weird. Um, but anyways, um, not a name that I'm used to, of course. Is, I think it's Yilva. I think it's Yilva. I'm, I don't remember. But the daughter of, of Thor's, um, you know, that's something that, you know, pretty much all of us go through. It's something that I've done in the past, but I don't really, I don't do it anymore because I, it, it causes a lot of stress. So I've learned how to deal with grief. Um, when people used to die that are, you know, close to me and stuff like that, I used to be really like tough in the beginning. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's over. You know what I'm saying? You know. I'm trying to rationalize things by saying things to myself and saying, you know, everybody dies at some point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never really dealt with it, with the grief. 
And then, you know, it always comes to that stage where you just got to let it out. And, it, you know, a lot of times it's it's a memory. It's, it's, it's something. You know what I'm saying? It could be somebody telling you, slow down. You know what I'm saying? You got to get over this. You got to, you know, as much as it is. And sometimes you'll be doing the most randomest things and tears just start falling. You know, tears just start coming. And you, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I remember when my um, my god brother died. Um, not somebody I was extremely close to, but, you know, when you have so many. And I was pretty young, too. I think I don't, I don't even remember what age I was when he died um he got st stabbed in the nightclub um it was pretty much a, a lot older than me too he was in his 20s at the time and you know it never really hit me you know what i'm saying it never really hit me um until you know what i'm saying i was washing my clothes you know what i'm saying doing laundry i was washing my clothes and i was just standing there and tears just started coming out you know what I'm saying? I never really understood death. You know what I'm saying? Because I was so young at the time. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? At first, it, 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 it was like, why are all these people so down? You know what I'm saying? I never really understood. But, you know what I'm saying? It was like, I don't want to say my body or my <laughs> my mind never never really grasps the, the the gravity of the situation until you know what i'm saying like i was just there and my mom was watching me and my mom saw um saw me started crying and she came and hugged me and she tried you know because i never really got it you know what i'm saying so denial is one of those things where you know in 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 yilva or whatever her name is in her case she was trying to distract herself by doing a ton of things so she wouldn't give her time, give herself time to grieve. You know what I'm saying? Which is, um, it never surprised me that she was acting like that because plenty of people do it. I've seen it so many times before. I've seen it in anime before, as I was describing. Shikamaru was the same thing, whereas in he never really gave himself time to grieve for Asuma. You know what I'm saying? And understanding the message that he left him and stuff like that. Like, if he never grieved, he wouldn't have been able to go and do what he did. You know what I'm saying? After the fact, which is to, you know, get revenge. You know what I'm saying? And be able to concentrate as smart as he is. I'm telling you, if he if his father never forced him to grieve in that situation, he would have never been able to do what he had to do on the next time they came across those Akatsuki members. So it um it's good to grieve, man. Let it out. You lose someone, let it out, man. So I was glad that they touched on that. Um Thorfinn's arc is you know what I'm saying? Like uh, as I said before, it reminded me of um, just as a slight part of guts when he was younger, you know what I'm saying? His tr his backstory is tragic as hell. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it just reminds me of him just being there by himself, sleeping with the sword and stuff like that. The same thing that was happening with Thorfinn. It just reminded me of that. Um, this is small similarities. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm glad that he got that promise from Askeladd. So I'm guessing this is how, you know, he became like, uh, um, a quote unquote member of their crew. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he'll be there looting and shooting and killing villagers like them, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm assuming because of what I saw in the opening of him being on a boat with Askeladd, I'm guessing that something in that sort of manner is going to happen so when it comes on to the story the story is awesome so far five episodes in and i'm hooked i'm pretty sure everybody is hooked on this series that watches it it is very good series they're doing a very good job of portraying the storyline and the pacing of the episodes are absolutely awesome so thank you so much for watching me man um it's it's been a journey 
it's been a journey and i'm here for you guys if you want to discuss and stuff like that we got um on the discord server we do have a vinland saga channel you can go there we can talk about vinland saga up to the episodes that we've seen um i'm up to date so there's no spoiler territory here unless somebody in the server hasn't watched watched it yet so we kind of keep it still kind of vague but you know what i'm saying like we can talk about it if it so happens that somebody gets spoiled then we'll make a spoiler server but for now it's just a vinland saga channel go there we can chat videos are posted there too so if you guys have not checked out the rest of the series go ahead and check out um, the first four episodes of course go ahead and check those out thank you guys so much for watching and as always man leave a comment on this video leave a like okay i want to see this video there's a ton of people watching vinland saga here like we're averaging around 200 per upload 200 views per upload so hey what if we aim for 20 likes on this one 20 likes or you know what i'm saying 20 likes that's all i'm asking for 20 likes on this one and then we'll see how we take it from there maybe for the next episode we'll go to like 25 maybe even 50 but thank you guys so much for the interaction that you guys leave on this um if you're enjoying it leave a comment in the comment section man thank you guys so much for watching you are terror, terror squad i am mr terror by react and i will see you guys next time on Vinland Saga. Peace.